What you see here is Lapras, my powder blue dwarf Karami. There is my dwarf Karami, and you can see the top of its fin tail there is um, just a little nipped. That's because the mosquito fish, who have, for the most part, I think they're done given birth, um, their abdomens have gone down quite a bit. This would be their second birth. All three of them are females. I don't know how the heck they started giving live birth again, but gosh darn it, if they're not like, God, I got about 40 of these little guys in here now. Um, <laughs> wow, it basically doubled their numbers. Anywho, I think they had been picking on Lapras. Because I noticed, you know, their tails were a little nipped. Okay. The the Garamis do chase each other. They're both boys. Um, so I know that could also be a factor. But he started missing some of his scales. And then I noticed a bump on his head. Um, it was a pretty respectable bump. Which I'm hoping he gets better. So... Here's the setup that I have. Clearly, his quarantine tank is a one gallon tank with an under, under gravel filter, which I've used large rocks so that I know I, I can better see what goes in and out, more or less. Um, I do, in the tube, have a little sponge in there, and that is actually phosphate reducer, not phosphate, ammonia reducer, nitrate, nitrate reducer in there. So there's a little bit of filtration, but there's no um, activated charcoal because that takes the uh, potency of the antibiotic out, which I am using, and I don't know how much of this can sh I can show, but Frankly, you can find it online. So, API TC tetracycline. And we got essentially open red sores. Um, the scales that were missing uh, were starting to get red and irritated. Um, and this tetracycline, basically, if it's bacterial, it'll kill it. Now, <clears throat> Lapras is in really rough, sh rough shape, and you can tell he's in rough shape. This is day three of the treatment. I had just put in the third dose. Um, I did the 25% water change 12 hours early because he was really looking crappy this morning. I'm hoping this works. I'm hoping his scales grow back. I'm hoping the bump on his nose goes away, which actually it has. I don't know if he's getting better or not. I have seen him go up to the surface as a labyrinth fish. You know, they gotta take gulps of air from the surface. Um, so hopefully he'll make it. Now, here's another thing. Um, Naturally, they expect you to have a 10-gallon quarantine tank. Well, I don't have any extra heaters. This is just a 5-gallon tank. Um, that heater barely keeps this tank warm enough. Um, so, <laughs> barring that, a 1-gallon tank inside a tank that's got a heater and is already heated to the proper temperature keeps that one at the proper temperature. The tetracycline <laughs> comes in these packs, and it's wonderful. You know, they give you plenty, enough to treat a 100-gallon tank, um, but I have a 1-gallon tank. <laughs> um, for you drug dealers out there, I truly appreciate razor blades and cocaine lines, because essentially that's what I did. I dumped these contents out onto a mirror. I used a razor blade 
and kind of sort of guessed at it. But what I came up with was an even disbursement of the powder. So these are my doses, and I essentially have 10 doses. If one of these packets treats 10 gallons of water, you need to make 10 little packets in order to um, hopefully get the dosage right. Well, that was the theory behind it all. And he's still alive. I'll give him that. But I think he's lost a little bit of his spirit. He's certainly stressed. He's certainly uncomfortable. One of the things that I have noted with this product is the foam. <laughs> the um, foam can be quite annoying. And I don't know if I should do this or not, but I'm doing it anyway. I've been doing it all along. And that's just to take a paper towel, kind of wipe the edges. Because as a labyrinth fish, he kind of sort of needs to come up every once in a while. <laughs> and it's kind of hard to do that when you have to completely rise up through a mess of bubbles. And that would be probably bloodworm that he obviously didn't eat. Has he been eating? Yes. Has he been eating well? <laughs> no. Um, one of the things that makes me nervous about using the tetracycline is it's probably it's the number one antibiotic out there for the fish world. If you have something that you don't know what is, tetracycline will kill it if it is a bacteria. Now I'm hoping that he didn't have some sort of a fungus or something, but honestly the red spots have gone away. You can see kind of little patches. If you look really close up, I don't think you'll get it on this camera, but hey, $50 Kodak camera, what can you say? Um, his fins have stopped eroding. I think that was more of a stress issue than anything else. I don't think it was fin rot. So basically this is the third dose. So tomorrow at 6 o'clock or so will be the fourth and final dose. And it does say uh, four doses total, 25% water change, and add fresh activated charcoal to it, carbon, which it's going to be a trick for this one. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that. I'm going to have to rig something. Which I should really start thinking about to add the uh, filtration back in so that he can have healthy water before, healthy, fresh, clean water before I put him back in with the others. Now, initially, this <laughs> was meant to be um, a quarantine tank. Um, yeah, right. It turned into fish tank. This one was going to be the quarantine tank after that. Well, it turned into a nursery. By the way, pregnant mosquito fish, if, if, <laughs> if you want to see them get eaten, that's great. If you want to raise them, <laughs> don't get pregnant mosquito fish. Just don't. Uh, there are just too many of them. Way too many of them. So I will keep you posted about 
Lapras and how he recovers. Hopefully this will help those of you out here who have a fish with a bacterial infection to help cure him. Um, now I did turn this light on for this video but I'm turning it off because frankly he doesn't like the bright light. I think he likes to kind of hang out in the dark. So we're going to put everything back the way it was. Keep my paper towel ready to scoop off more of the foam. But um, this stuff does make the water a little bit yellow. And I said it would do that and it has so that's not to be concerned about. I'm not even going to waste a test strip on it because I know it's going to be probably a little skewed. Um, when I do the final dose and then the last water change, put the activated char carbon back in there, um, wait 24 hours and then do a test strip. And essentially when the water gets back to normal you can add your fish back. Which hopefully he will be alive still. So, until um, next time.